what can the living do to benefit the dead? And of course, this is where it becomes practical. This is where people want to know what can I do to help the deceased. And the first three things that are explicitly mentioned are known to all of you. It is the most authentic hadith. It is the hadith that is always mentioned. The hadith is in Sahih Muslim. It is authentic. إِذَا مَا تَبْنُ Adam. When the son of Adam dies, in amaluhu, All of his deeds stop. إِلَّا مِنْ ثلاث. Okay, this hadith is always used. And also, what is really important about this hadith, as we will see the other hadith, people are coming and asking the Prophet ﷺ, can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do this? This hadith, what is the difference? He's telling us. He's presenting us. Big difference. This means what is mentioned in this hadith occupies a higher status. Because he is the one offering, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What can you do for the deceased? This is what you can do. The other traditions, as we're going to see, by and large, people are coming and asking him, Can I do this? Can I do that? How about this? And then he says, But here he is saying, When the son of Adam dies, son here, son or daughter, all of his deeds come to an end except for three. Number one, Sadaqa Jariya. Number two, ilmun yuntafa'u bihi. Number three, waladun salihun yad'u lahu. Then we have numerous evidences from the Qur'an and from the Sunnah. And from the Qur'an, وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِن بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا Those who come after the Ansar and the Muhajirun. Those who come after the Ansar and the Muhajirun. They say, رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ O oh Allah, forgive us and forgive our brethren who have come before us. Meaning the ones who have died. Forgive our brethren that have gone on. The Muhajirun, the Ansar, and all of the believers that have gone on. This ayah is explicit dua for the deceased. And of course, there's no controversy. It's very explicit. I'm just saying though, if anybody asks you, what's the evidence? The most explicit evidence is this one in the Quran. Allah is telling us, make dua for all the Muslims from before you up until the time of the Sahaba. رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا لِلْإِيمَانِ And as well, we have so many evidences from the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Of them is the Prophet ﷺ going to Baqi' making dua for the deceased. Of them is praying for the deceased in the janazah itself. In fact, what is the Salatul Janazah? except dua for the deceased. What is the purpose of Salatul Janazah except making dua for the deceased? Hadith in Abu Dawood, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when you pray for the deceased, pray with sincerity. Pray with ikhlas. Why? Because you will need it when it's your turn. As you do unto others, people will be done unto you, right? Hadith also in Abu Dawood, that when the process, and this is, this is for the Salat al Janazah, the other hadith I'm going to quote you, they were in the Qabr, in the graveyard, in Baqir. And after they buried the person, the Prophet ﷺ said, Now is the time to make dua to Allah to make him firm. Now is the time to make dua. So again, all of these are evidences. We make dua for the deceased. Now is the time to ask him for thabat, for afiyah, because now he is being asked by the angels. So we make dua for the deceased at any time, and in particular at two occasions. Number one, in the janazah, salatul janazah, and number two, right after dafin. These are the two extra special encouraged places to make dua. And any time other than this, you make dua. There is no restriction. But especially in those, these two, we make special uh, dua. Three things benefit a person when he dies. Number one is sadaqatun jariya. Number two is ilmun, the knowledge which benefits others. And number three is waladun salihun, the pious and righteous children. When they do good deeds, the person who dies, he or she receives reward on behalf of them. And what you can do when someone passes away so that you can send them rewards. You can do is you can do dua for them. Make dua and ask Allah to forgive them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
will give them rewards and attend the janaza of the person who dies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him rewards when you attend the janaza and pray for him and you can always make dua for him so that Allah forgives his sins and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him with rahmah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower mercy upon him